Good morning, guys. It's Gene Jensen. It's time for another Friday Night Live. And I'm going to get everything situated. Of course, you never stay situated. There we go. All right. What's up, Bryce? How you doing, man? I'm going to do a little bit of check-in real quick while everybody gets on. Scott Hash, welcome back, man. There we go. All right, I can turn that around. That's for my third, 13 fishing stuff, and plus I wrote it backwards for Facebook. Jason, how's it going, brother? It's crazy. You gotta you gotta write your signs backwards for Facebook when I do Facebook lives. Oh, stupid. <laughs> Uh-oh. Scott has got a 6.5 heavy new black for 80 bucks. That's incredible, dude. I don't even want to know how you did that. Oh, I love that rod. I have three of them now. Oh, I'm not supposed to. I'm happy about this. I got a couple of them in a box today. I'm pretty excited. It makes, uh, I can add a few more to my one that I have, but, uh, those are some good reels. They're awful bright. I'm sorry I'm tired. I've been up since 4.30 this morning. I went to Gunnersville and smashed them. So, I eh, didn't smash them. Well, I caught 15 or so, so. Grant, what's up, brother? Hey, fish in Louisiana. What up, guys? There we go. Everybody's jumping on. So, Hunter Brislin, what's chick fishing like? I don't know, man. I've been in Gunnersville because uh, MLF is on chick. So, I'm kind of avoiding it. Plus, I'm getting ready for a, a kayak bass fishing uh, trail event on Gunnersville in a few weeks. So, I've been out there concentrating on there on that lake. So, oh, <laughs> Ben Howard, ready for retirement at 32. That's awesome, man. Oh, uh, what? Fishing Louisiana has been a fan since the fishing partner days? These youngins don't know. Oh my gosh. That's like half of those videos I deleted because they were just trash. So, my gosh, man. That's since the beginning. Um, Casey Gray. Awesome, man. I hope you enjoy the Fishing Shirt of the Month stuff. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Dylan, Gene, you're going down at Gunner's Deal. <laughs> I just want to finish in the top 10%. I want to qualify for the national championship. Uh, that's all my goal. I don't care about winning. I just want to fish the national championship this next year. So, uh, let's see. Fish going on bed at Rocky. They're actually, they've been on bed. Uh, half of them are coming off. I uh, caught a bunch of pre-spawn females uh, yesterday. Um, but, yeah, they should be kind of moving in and out. So, um, tell us how, how to tick off the bucks that just moved up and working the bed. I'm actually going to do a little short, probably a little Instagram video or something about that. A little birdie told me a trick, but the best thing is to use something really big that the bucks can't get their, can't bite that well. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to yawn a lot in this video, but, uh like a big lizard or a big swim bait or something like that and and piss them off or you can just keep throwing your jig at them and hit them in the head um a few times so all right let's jump on business before i get the questions um monday you guys that are that follow me on instagram i'm going to be doing a giveaway i'm not going to tell you what it is or what company it's for but it's going to we're going to give away some really cool stuff um starting on monday and that and that giveaway will um will go till friday uh, just to give you a heads up, um, Fish USA is carrying my Fluke Master hats now. Let me see if I can find that little video real quick, show you guys kind of what those hats look like. Um, I just looked at it a second ago, so it's not far. Here it is. Let's see if you guys can see this little video. Oops, I hit the volume. But anyway, that's the Fluke Master hat with a real bad glare. But anyway, that'll give you an idea. But Fish USA is starting to carry those um, here shortly, so keep an eye out for that. 
And uh, KBF, you guys need to, if you're if you want a fish kayak tournaments, be sure to jump into KBF. Uh, check check out their their uh, state challenges and their opens and what other tournaments in their trail series. Uh, like I said, I'm fishing the Gunnersville one in a few weeks, and uh, Daggum, I'll be out of town for the one in Georgia, which is the Free River Challenge. But this Monday, Tuesday, I'm going on a really cool river trip. Uh, I'm going to do a video, and that's all I'm going to tell you about it because I just wanted to be surprised for most of you guys. Um, let's see. And let's get on Q&As. Let me jump back up here. Um, Crawford Fight says, Hey, Fluke Master, I caught a two, four and a half. Oh, two and a half, four, two, four and a half pounders out of my kayak today. They were both on a frog. First topwater fish of the year. That's freaking sick, dude. Hey, Daniel, how's it going, man? My son and his scout troop are out camping tonight and working on their fishing merit badge. Wish I was with them, but I'm working. Yeah, dude, I've been there, man. I've been there. I miss Jake's first six Christmases because I was working or Christmas Eve's uh yeah yeah that's no fun uh Grant Henderson just started to show up on beds up here in Missouri nighttime temp still a little cool yeah man it's kind of mixed um I know they're pulling up on beds on Gunnersville I'm sure they are on Chickamauga um I'm still I'm still wanting to fish out I caught 26 fish day before yesterday on Gunnersville um, all of them offshore, uh, the way I love to fish. Uh, I just am more comfortable offshore than I am be beating the bank. But I did catch some out from underneath the dock, too. Oh. Uh, Casey Gray must be in Florida. He says, I um, y'all are just hitting spawn, and I'm, uh, I'm over here in post-spawn trying all the thick girls. Uh, oh, all the thick girls got skinny. Yes, they did. Um... <laughs> Let's see, John Long, I need a good place, I need to know a good place to get tungsten weights. I'll tell you how I did it um, back in the day when they, when I, literally um, before all the sponsorships came on and stuff like that, but I set aside $20 a month and went and bought tungsten at the local store, um, and I did that for almost a year and a half, and I and just kind of build up a stockpile of tungsten, and it just worked out really, really well. Um, I used to buy it off of Amazon in bulk. And then you have to put a little um, sleeve in there. I got a video about how to do that, how to put an insert in, that kind of stuff. But that's mainly what you got to do, brother. Just But Amazon's a good spot, but you get them from China and they're rough and you have to kind of put a, a uh, an insert in there so that it doesn't scuff up your line. Uh, Caleb King says he caught his PB on Sunday on a Strike King Red Eye Shad in Chili Croc color. woo -hoo! Yeah, dude, that's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> Yeah, you go to my lipless crankbait video, and that's what I'm using, man, a freaking chili crawl. Um, what stage of spawn are largemouth in when they are just cruising the shallows aimlessly but not very active? Early pre-spawn, actually, that's kind of late pre-spawn, and it's probably the females cruising. Um, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to catch them. best thing to do, that I like to do is I have a drop shot handy, and I throw way out in front of them, and then I don't move it until they get close. So, man, you guys are killing me. That's a lot of comments. Uh, Anthony Schaefer, uh, thanks for the free bucks. Tips for beginning kayak fishermen. Um, Chad Hoover's got a lot of good videos <coughs> on beginning stuff. Uh, get involved with KBF's Facebook page, Kayak Bass Fishing's Facebook page. And then uh, the best thing is, is uh, that I always talk about is uh, get a good paddle, get a PFD that works and it's really comfortable. And then the one thing that I've realized that I haven't been talking much about is learn how to anchor um, and learn how to use an anchor. I use an anchor wizard to drop an anchor out the front. That makes fishing a whole lot easier and don't be afraid to use it a lot. And I do, I use my anchor all the time. But uh, that's a couple of real quick ones. Uh, why is Illinois getting snow tomorrow? This weather is killing me, yuck. Um, Let's see, when does top water start? Uh, I start, the earliest I've ever caught top water was 55 degree water temperature, um, but it's usually when the bass are shallow and active. And so 
and it's typically in the late 60 degrees, 70, up into 75. When they get up in the shallows, they'll hit top water. Um, oh my goodness, that's pretty cool, Josh at Thibodeau. So excited, the wife and I are adopting our first kid. Just found out it's gonna be a baby boy fishing partner for life. That's awesome, dude. Man, I know it's not cheap, and I know you probably saved a, for a long time to, to be able to do that. I, I have a... Uh, I helped a buddy of mine years ago with uh, garage sales and all kinds of stuff to be able to adopt his first child. So now he's adopted a second one and he has one biological child, which was an absolute miracle. So um, let's see. Started watching your videos after we met, realized I recognized you from the solo boat launch video. Also, just caught my first bass, uh, three pounds on a bait caster, uh, with your help. So, thank you, brother. That's awesome, Kevin. Pre uh, is it Kev on? Kev on there, Kevin. Um, <laughs> appreciate it, man. Um, let's see. Haha, <laughs> awesome to see you here at Beardonomics. Didn't know you follow this channel. <laughs> yes, I sure do. I sure do. Mine's a little rough right now. I've been out fishing all day. Um, do I use drift socks? No, not anymore. Um, I have in the past, and I have one just in case. Um, since I got the uh, the Ultrex trolling motor on my big boat, I don't use one. Uh, the Ultrex is, is amazing. Um, and then on my kayak, what I typically do if I need to slow my drift is I'll drop my power pole down all the way, and it'll, it'll act somewhat like a drift, drift sock. So, um, By the way, Jake Boss, thanks for all the... the I'm a beginner beard grower, um, so I've had this beard for a long time, but I've always kept it short. I'm thinking about getting it a little bit longer. Hey, what do you guys think? Should I grow it out? My wife doesn't think I should, but I'm going to. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna grow it out to just be looking nice. I don't want to be like Alex Red with the perfect long, pretty beard. Um, let's see, G, do you anchor from the front or rear on an anchor trolley? I anchor from the front with an anchor trolley and the back has a, uh, a power pole. And typically, I'll, it, like when I'm river fishing, I only use the anchor on fresh on front and I don't even bring a power pole. So, Gene, any suggestions on getting longer cast using spin cast with braid? Ugh, I don't use spin cast because I hate them. Uh, and I'm gonna be totally honest with you, they're so problematic um, I try to get away from spin casters and get to a spinning reel as, when I'm teaching people as soon as I possibly can. Um, let's see. Just caught 20 fish after school. That's awesome, man. Any advice on someone who would eventually like to get into competitions for fun here in central Georgia? Dude, seriously, um, I love what a lot of these uh, little groups are doing with kayak fishing, and I and I'm it's not that I'm promoting kayak fishing, which I am, but it's more or less uh, the community of kayak fishing is a very very nice brotherhood, and it's a, we have become friends very very quickly. Like right down the road, um, every Monday night starting at summertime, uh, we have a tournament, and it's a little pot tournament. We throw in twenty bucks, we go fishing for four or five hours. And it's just a blast. The kids, our sons get to fish for free, or our daughters, whatever, kids get to fish for free. They have their own little deal. And uh, But, dude, it's just fun. And that's kind of way, the way we're going to do it. And my kids want to fish it this year. So just look at the kayak community. Um, and if you want to get into the boating community, find a local club and join that local club. So um, let's see. I'm trying to learn a lake with no grass and lots of rock. And hard bottom, what would you do first if you were in my shoes? I would look for points, John. Um, any kind of points sticking out, even whether it's a rock, you know, rock sticking out into the water or points of land sticking out of the water, and I would hit every point that I possibly could, go back into pockets. When there's an abundance of rock or when there's abundance of trees or abundance of anything, you've got to find something different or something that sticks out further and creates an ambush spot. So that's kind of what I do. Uh, Beardonomics. <laughs> uh, grow it out and buy some Chesapeake Beard Company product. Uh, I have a discount code of here. That'd be pretty cool, man. Yep, give me a minute. It don't take long to grow this sucker. Um, 13Z's reel is, are, are always sold out. Yeah, they're not hard. They're not easy to find at all. I tell you, though, I've been very impressed with this, 
green one. I know it's green, but I've been really impressed with them. I just got these in the mail today. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to get some line on them. Uh, best way to get females to hit when fanning beds, super clear waters. Dude, um, I tell you, I'm going to try a trick this next week if I can find a decent one on bed. Is I'm going to take a big 7 to 10 inch swim bait. And I'm going to throw it out and I'm going to bring it into the edge of the bed and I'm just going to sit it there on the bottom and just let it sit. Holy crap, David, you donated 50 bucks, man. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. But anyway, sit it on the bottom and I'm going to let that male just peck at it and peck at it and peck at it and peck at it. And I'm going to see what the female does. I think that's the best way to do it. I have uh, a buddy of mine from California said that's what he does and I'm just going to try it. And of course, I'm going to try to film it, so... Oh, let's see. David Fields, hey, hey, glad videos are starting to roll out again. Looking forward to next Friday. That's right, next Friday, if you guys live in the Augusta area, my Friday Night Live is going to be at Southern Moon Outfitters um, in Augusta, Georgia. So uh, you guys come hang out with us a little bit early. It's their grand reopening. They just got a bigger building, which I told him when he opened it up that he was going to need to get a, build a bigger building. So that didn't take long. Uh, great dude, great businessman, and uh, we're going to have a whole lot of fun on Friday Night Live next week. Um, and then I might just stay and fish on Saturday. Well, I'm going to stay and fish on Saturday. But uh, what good but cheap spin reel would you suggest for a medium spinning rod? Um, a 3,000 size or a 2,000 size, probably a 2,000 size spinning reel. Um, I like um, the little Creed reels. I've got one sitting right here that I haven't put a line on yet. But this is, I think, a $50 reel, or might be a little bit cheaper than that, but it's a, uh, a Creed uh, FB is what it is. And it's actually aluminum with just a little bit of plastic. Um, it's got an EVA foam grip, which is really cool. You don't normally see those in inexpensive reels. So, this is not a bad one. Uh, Eric Bagwell, yes, yeah, Southern Moon and Augusta. Um... <laughs> Let's see, what are your opinion on pedal kayaks? I don't mind them, dude. I, uh, to be honest with you, Hobie still has the best pedal drive on the market. Um, I don't like the egg beater pedal drives, no matter what the brand or anything else. My hip can't handle it, um, and my knees can't handle it, but uh, the Hobie is, is still the best pedal drive out on the market, um, bar none. And you still can get some great speed. Holy crap, guys. Todd Smith, thanks for the 50 bucks. Hi, Gene, where can I get... The foam packing material you used in your JJ's Magic container, and how do you cut the nice round holes for the bottles? Also, check out your Gmail for my address for sending some decals. Sure, man, I can do that. Um, I actually got that foam material from a package that I got in the mail, but it's closed cell plastic foam, and I drilled it out with a Forstner bit in my drill press is what I did. Um, I, I, it's, I have a set of Forstner bits because my dad does wood, used to do woodworking before he passed away. And uh, I have, I've had those since, shoot, since I was married, so almost 20 years. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's how I drilled the holes. And then the size of the container is a 10 cup container. They're hard to find. I can only find them on Amazon, but they're 10 cup with the closing lid, whatever you call it, the, the waterproof lid. So thanks for the 50 bucks, man. And I'll check my email address. Uh, I don't know, when did you send it? I usually send everything back. I'll have to look, man. I'll have to look. So Todd Smith, I'm going to look it up right now. That way, okay, I just pulled it up. Um, all right, I'll look it up, man. I'll, uh, I'll get my... Uh, my manager to, to look at it and get a hold of you. Uh, hey, Gene, when is the best time to wa uh, and water temp to start throwing the bull shad? Um, I throw bull shads all winter long. Um, I do okay, but uh, pre-spawn, spawn, and post-spawn, mainly post-spawn, uh, if, you, if your bass are like they are right now with us, is already most of them have already spawned out or they're in the middle of the spawn. Um, but gizzard shad is, uh, especially here in the south, is... That's our trap, is what it is. But uh, the best thing to do is leave out all your other crap at home and only take it and throw it and throw it and throw it and just be glad for one big bite. Um, 
Let's see, Grant Henderson, did you see Pelican is using variation of Hobie's Drive? They must have paid a ton for it. I think they did, too. That's actually the original um, pedal drive for Hobie before they added ball bearings and, and all of the little expensive parts and pieces to it. So it's a lot of plastic parts, and I haven't really looked at it. Uh, I haven't really pedaled it, but I know it's their original version. So a lot of improvements uh, have happened since that thing was designed. So... Uh, best spring lure, in my opinion, is a lipless crankbait or a chatterbait. Awesome. Uh, Dustin Rigsby, awesome. Thanks. Heard baby turtles work amazing, but thanks a lot for answering. Got a tourney in the morning. Uh, you know what? Those little uh, doomsday turtles, I hear a lot of people using them, and I don't have any. So I used to have some, but I think my sons uh, laid claim to them and made them disappear. Um... I heard KBF partnered with Angler. Is this is that true? Um, I don't know if it's official yet, but I know they were talking. Uh, I talked a little bit to uh, the the uh, founder of Angler today on the phone, and he mentioned that they were working on some stuff with KBF. So yeah, maybe. Um, pro it's 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 probably a ninety percent possibility. What editing software do I use? I don't use any. I use a guy named Paul. And uh, he uses an editing software like, well, <laughs> I know what he uses. He uses um, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects is what he uses. So, oh, dude, you're going to make me write that down? Hold on a minute. Ah, Nomix 10. And see, I, I, I suck at this. N-O-M-I-C-K-S 10. All right, got it. Nope, it's not C-K, it's C-S. Got it. All right, went fishing today with my dad in the swamps. Got skunked on bass, but kept 19 goggle eye. Couldn't figure them out. Wow. <laughs> Let's see. Um... <laughs> Man, some of these comments are just funny, but I'm not going to read them. How is, uh, how is you having... How is you have invested in your kayak? I don't understand that one. What's up, Fluke Master? I'm fishing my first kayak tournament next weekend, and it looks like a cold front is going to come through. Any tips on fishing a front? I just made a video on how to fish after a front. Um, go finesse. Go small. Um, if they're spawning, it's not going to have much of an effect on them. It'll just pull them out to the next drop, and then you just kind of have to fish slow. But I don't know when that front's moving through. So, um, went to Chick last week and my partner and I caught 39 pounds in five fish. Wow. That's freaking awesome. That's awesome. Let's see. Um, hey Gene, have you ever used a Johnny Morris baitcaster reel? What are your thoughts? I haven't used any of the new ones. Those are actually the ones I started with many, many, many moons ago back in the day. They had the, uh, Pro Qualifier and the Johnny Morris Classic and something else. And uh, they were really good. I mean, I, I, I tore up every one of them, but I'm, I'm good at that. Um, but they lasted me two, three years apiece, so it wasn't too bad. Um, let's see. Thanks, Stefan. Hey, guys, I want everybody to congratulate Stefan Walden. He won... The uh, FLW BFL on Hartwell, I believe, uh, this past weekend. I'm so proud of my buddy. He's my uh, he's my brother from another mother. So went to Gunnersville last week and caught 34 pounds in five. Oh, I already read that one. My bad. Uh, my wife Heather said thanks for recommending the Bonafide RS117. She's loving it. That's awesome, dude. I'm glad she likes it. Um, my yard has giant night crawlers, and I'm going to use them for bass. Go, go Grant. <laughs> Just get out of the house, dude. <laughs> uh, hey, Gene, thoughts on 13 crankbait rods? You know, when I, Big Red, when I started with 13 a few years ago, the one thing, my biggest complaint was they didn't have a good lineup of, of crankbait rods. They had this thing called the Krankenstein. And I got one, and I was like, this is not a freaking crankbait rod. This is a, a, a it was a great spinnerbait, buzzbait rod, but it was too heavy for anything else. And so Ricky worked really hard and came up, and the fake black ones, or the fake chrome crankbait rods are really good. The fake black ones are really good, and my favorite ones are the new Omens that are coming out. 
Um, the new Omen crankbait rods are on point, but they're ex they're more expensive than the other two. So you would you you do pretty good with any one of those. But yeah, dude, he worked really hard to be able to get those right. Um, let's see. Adventures of Bryant says love the content. Thank you for taking time each week to answer our questions. Getting new kayak, but for now loving my canoe. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I grew up in a canoe, so I love it. Uh, why have you not used a pedal drive yet? I, I actually used to have a Hobie. And so, and I love it. Um, it was a great boat, but, uh, you know, Bonafide is my sponsor. They don't have a pedal drive yet. And I imagine if they got one, I would get one and use it. But I really love to paddle. I've been, like, like I said, I've been in canoe my whole life and paddling is just a joy. Um, and if I've got a big lake to fish or anything else, I throw a torpedo on the back of my boat and I'm good for five and a half miles an hour. Um, as far as I want to go. So, um, Concept Z or Inception to use for 6.5 Muse rod. Uh, actually, I have an Inception on one of mine and it does just fine. You just have to crank the drag down if you're going to frog fish. But it should be pretty good. Uh, the Z is great. Uh, great on anything. And, um, have you used Suffix 832? I have not. Uh, my favorite braid is the Seaguar um, in um, Smackdown. And they have that new uh, high-vis green that's really good. That actually matches those green 13 reels, which is kind of funny. Um, but And they have the new uh, smoke gray or the ghost gray, which is really cool. Um, I, I use, I'm going to use that this year on my frog rods. Would it be a waste of time to set up a Tokyo rig wacky style? No, I've been doing it for about, uh, about a month and a half now. Uh, I just haven't said anything about it. Hey, bud, have you been keeping up with Major League Fishing on Chick this week? Took my little da uh, little one down the other day to see them. Uh, he got a picture with Ike. That's awesome, man. Yes, I have as much as I can. i really been fishing hard because the weather's been great. Uh, we spent, like I said, we spent three, almost three and a half months in, in, with rain here. And the weather was so bad, I didn't get, didn't get much fishing in. But uh, every, I woke up this morning, it was supposed to rain. The weather forecast had changed overnight, and I took off and went fishing. So, what's up, Chad? Uh, which battery do I have? Uh, I'm guessing you mean for the Torquedo is the the 915 amp hour one, the big one. Are you supposed to? Are you sponsored by Tor Torquedo as well? Um, yes, yes, and no. It's a it's a it's a product deal, is what it is. And so, uh, but yeah, they are. Uh, uh, I actually had that thing in my office for like a year before I put it on my boat, mainly because they didn't have a motor mount that would mount my power pole onto my, uh, and my torpedo onto the boat at the same time. Medium fast or medium heavy fast for multi-purpose rod? Medium fast is what I would do, uh, just because of the way I fish. Now, if you fish a lot of Texas rigs and you fish a lot of cover and you're flipping docks and stuff like that, Go with a medium heavy. Um, any opinions on cast king reels and rods? I have not used them in about two and a half years, but the ones I used, the spinning reel was really good. The bait caster was so so, and the rod was not good. But they they don't make that rod anymore, so don't worry about all that. Oh, uh, I didn't think Gene could make his reels any uglier, but he did. Hold on, Chad. Wait a minute. Hey, Chad, I got something for you. Hold on. Wait. Keep waiting. Aren't they pretty? Look at it. Uh-oh, Chad's going to start tripping again. Look at that. Chad does not like my colored reels, but look at these. Mm. <coughs> Sorry. Um, great info, Gene. What floral line and pound would you recommend for jig fishing, or would you go braid to with a fluorocarbon leader? Um, I typically, for jig fishing, if I'm doing a lot of casting, I don't like to use a, le a leader, so I'll go with like 20 pound fluorocarbon or 17 pound fluorocarbon. Um, but that's it. But uh, if I'm fishing out of a kayak and I'm not doing a whole lot of really long casting, um, that knot just gets really big no matter what you do. I'm going to use a braid to a fluorocarbon leader. So probably 50 pound braid to 17 to 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. So considering a, a video with Greg Blanchard show us the differences 
of your fishing styles. Dude, that would be awesome. I finally got a little bit of time to talk with Greg, Greg at the National Championship. Um, I wanted to go follow him on the last day. You know, the last day where he kicked butt and he was the and he uh he won or he caught the most weight the last day of the national championship but i got vetoed out by my cameraman um so uh yeah and i really wanted to go follow greg and it would have been epic but anyway it was still fun uh the ascension sport z glows on your camera <laughs> what does chad not like about your colored reels he thinks they're ugly uh Let's see, striking out in very muddy water fishing for smallies using black lizards and craws, Texas rig. No luck on chatterbaits either. Oof, I'm not that good on smallmouth unless the water's really clear. I am not the one to ask, so. <laughs> Who's Chad? The painting behind you looks like Paul Elias. You know what? It kind of does, doesn't it? Huh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> Let's see. David Fields, thanks for the two, three bucks. Get 13 to use red on Z Reels. Mine turning pink. Yeah. Man, I want a red one so bad. You know, when I first signed with 13, they had this thing called the Concept uh, KP, and it was red and black. It was gorgeous. It was like a $500 reel, and they only made a limited amount. By the time I signed a contract with them, there was no more available, and uh, I was too scared to ask for one. So, hey, Fluke, just wanted to say thanks for getting me into fishing. Recently just bought my first rod and reel and hoping to be able to fish this weekend. Keep up the awesome content. That's great, man. Good luck. Have fun with it. Um, friends don't let friends fish ugly reels. <laughs> Shut up, Josh. <laughs> oh, to be fair, the Lose Hypermag is the best looking reel ever, and it's awesome. <laughs> Thoughts on quantum bait casting reels? I didn't know they still made them. <laughs> no, I don't know, man. I don't know. I really need to kind of branch off and start borrowing people's reels and fishing with them. Uh, where to fish in pond when it's real cold in Washington? We not even in pre-spawn. Um, the deepest or steepest bank that you possibly can that the sun beats on it in the morning. Uh, you fish that bank. That's the where it's going to warm up the most. Compare... In contrast, the Inception Sport Sheets Z with the Inception. I haven't really looked at the specs. Um, I know one's got ball bearings, the other one's got the CZD bearings. But other than that, I really haven't looked and seen the differences. Uh, I, I guess I need to do that. Um, let's see. Ned Rig for Smallies works awesome where, am I, where I'm from. Um... Jigging shiners? Wow, that's pretty cool. Anything with you and tactical bassing ba uh, back in the works? Not yet. I'm probably going to see them in July. I know they're going to be coming to ICAST, and I'm really going to sit down and nail down a date um, and uh, and head over to California uh, as soon as I can. So, um, Thoughts on sit inside fishing kayaks? Romero, I don't know. I have been in two of them, and I used to I did some whitewater kayaking back in the day. Um, I don't usually admit to it because I sucked at it. But uh, the new uh, sit-inside fishing kayaks, I'm not a fan just because they fill up with water and sink. But uh, I'm going to try out the new one from Bonafide. I, uh, I just need to try it out. They say you can stand up in it, so it would be pretty neat to be able to do that. So... Uh, Joshua Thibodeau, I'm not going to knock quantum. I personally don't care for the reels. That's kind of how I feel. Is that, is there a use for circle hooks in bass fishing? Uh, live bait is the only time I ever use a circle hook just because of the way you have to not set the hook on them. So, um, how's the angler app working out so far? Actually, I really like it. I had a, the, the, uh, the founder and C CEO called me today, and we had a, about a 20-minute conversation, and he calls to ask what's wrong with it, and I love it about him. He really wants that critique and that, you know, that criticism, and he wants to know what I don't like about it. So we had a really good conversation. Um, I can't tell you what's fixed because it's coming down the chute, and then I can talk about it once it's available, but he's fixed. He, they have fixed my issues 
and the new updates that are coming out in the next couple of weeks are going to fix the problems I have with it, which is really neat. And mine, mine's mainly usability. It's not like technical issues. It's usability issues, and uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. So I like it. I like it, and I like the way that company works, man. They listen to us. Um, I'd use hollow body frogs in Alabama. Yes, sir. Um, let's see. Have you used the Garmin Panopix live scope? I, don't, I haven't. Um, but in May, I'm going up to fish with Ben Nowak. Um, you guys, if you know, haven't watched his YouTube videos, go check him out. But I'm going to go fish with him in May, and he has that and been using it for a while and is really good at it. I can't wait to take a look at it just to see what it's like. Um, oh, that reminds me. Holy crap. I finally got the phone call uh, last Friday that they are starting to build my new boat, my new Alumacraft Pro 185. And so I get that one in the next few weeks. Going to rig it up. Going to put the new Raymarine Axioms on there and uh, and learn how to use those so then I can start making those videos about how to read fish finders, man. I'm stoked. Really am excited about it. So, um, are there any of your old videos that you look at now and disagree with almost everything in it? Whew. No, uh -uh, not really. There's one that I made some mistakes, and I've redone it since then. Um, it was the how to uh, how to choose the right color according to the uh, to the water clarity. Uh, my most popular video I've never liked, which is kind of funny, but uh, it it had all the right information. There was just so much in it that I had forgotten, and I can't remember what I'd forgotten because it's been so long, but. Jennifer Ellis, uh, Gene, when can you purchase your hats on Fish USA website? As soon as I find out, you guys will know on Instagram. I've got something set aside to be able to show you guys that. Um, but it's pretty soon. I know Scott's been working on it. Um, hopefully this next week. And Fish USA has been pretty good at that kind of stuff. Hey, Fluke, been having a tough time with backlashes when using fluorocarbon. No problems with braid. Any tips? Uh, fluorocarbon is notorious for backlashes just because it's a stiffer line and it has a lot more memory, especially a lot more memory, memory than braid. Um, what I typically would do is get yourself some stuff called KVB line and lure. I'm not sponsored by them. I've just been using them for about, a, about 15 years. Spray it on there the night before and let it soak in and let it dry. And it tends to, to make it a little bit easier. And then just tighten down that cast control knob a little bit until you figure out the little thumb deal where you can feel when it's going to happen with your thumb and you know when to slow it down. So practice, 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 practice. So have I done very much fishing in Kentucky? No, I haven't. Um, ben Howard says they're on there right now. That's awesome, man. I guess they, I'm the last to find out. Uh, <laughs> how can I get a Splute Master stif sticker, Dave Neal? Um, as soon as Scott gives me the okay, we're going to start, uh, doing the old donation here on the on the channel again um but it's scott's a professional photographer and it, we're right in the heart of uh a wedding season matter of fact he did just did chad hoover's daughter's wedding the uh yesterday and so he's non-stop and he's the one that takes care of that for me so um how can we keep up with things without instagram i don't know <laughs> Uh, Facebook a lot. Uh, I tend to put a little bit, a little bit back on Facebook. Facebook's just such a pain in the butt lately. Uh, they don't want to blast out anything that I put on my my page because I don't pay for it, and so Instagram just gets to more people. Uh, Fish USA, USA are great to deal with. Hoping to visit the store in PA someday. Yeah, man, they're they're really good to deal with. Um, still waiting for my sticker, Grant. Um, yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> Make sure you send me your uh, your address again. I I don't I got to check and see what Scott's up to. What can a first quarter moon tell me to expect? That's something you're going to have to ask Chad. He knows that better than I do. Um Let's see. Why does my Raymarine 4 Pro screen turn everything black and white once in a while? Does that have to do with the angle of my transducer? Dude, I don't know. I haven't had that problem. Of course, I haven't been using Raymarine in a number of years, but um, my guess and in, in my uh, um, 
it's it might it's either a software problem or it's a connection problem in the back. My Lawrence on my big on my big boat does that, and I have to mess around with the connection in the back to get it to work right. Um, Jason Davis, man, yeah, next Friday, Southern Moon Outfitters. Uh, thanks for the tips. I'm catching bass in Utah in 45 degree water, and your tips helped a ton. First year aiming for bass. That's awesome, Colby. That is awesome. That's where my family's from. I got a brother that lives in in uh, in Logan. My mom and dad grew up in uh, in Brigham City, so I get out there once in a blue moon. Uh, Chad says the Fluke Master hats are on Facebook on Fish USA now. Here in Pennsylvania, had ice on the lake until three weeks ago. I've been fishing from shore with no luck. I guess it's time to get the boat out. Trout season starts tomorrow. That's awesome. Uh, Brian Robinson says, I've only had luck with slowly dragging worms and craws so far this year. What tips would you have for any other types of lures here in Tennessee? Um, if, if you're having, if you're having to slowly drag worms and craws and that kind of stuff like that, don't, don't be afraid to slowly reel a, 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 a chatterbait. That's typically what I do. I'll tell you, I was catching them the day before yesterday. Pretty cool. I was throwing my rage bug out, letting it sink to the bottom, and I was dragging it until I bumped some grass. I guess it was it felt like grass. And as soon as I bumped the grass, I started to reel really slow. And literally four times in a row, I didn't get past the fifth turn of my handle and got bit. Um, and I don't ask me how I figured that out, but man, it was pretty awesome. Then I'd move to another place and I'd catch another one doing the same thing. Throw it out. Drag it until you feel grass and then start reeling. It was something else. Um, I live in Brigham. We should fish next time. Colby, yeah, be awesome, man. I just haven't been there in probably 10 or 12 or 15 years. Um, but yeah, I do need to get back out there. I used to go out when I was in high school. My dad would take us. We'd go fly into Salt Lake, go up to Logan, visit my brother in Logan, and then drive up to uh, to Henry's Fork, Idaho, and fish trout fish for two weeks. That's what I grew up doing. Um, let's see, Joshua Thibodeau. I live in uh, Ponchatoula. Oh, that's Louisiana. What brand PFD do I use? Uh, I'm getting a new kayak, and I need a good one. Six foot, two hundred seventy pounds. I use a, uh, a NRS Chinook. Uh, the new ones are really comfortable. They just kind of changed a few things to make them form fit a little bit better. And what I love about them is if you ever fall out and you lose consciousness or anything else, it is designed to flip you over and hold your head up out of the water. Um, and so that's, I love that thing. And it's got lots of pockets. You can put your phone in it. You can put, you know, anything you need in your pockets. And it's one of those PFDs you can wear all day long. So, uh, which lures is best for all year? Woo. An all-year lure, man, I don't know. I love, that's what's fun about bass fishing is so many different lures to play with. But if I had to pick one to use all year long, it would be just a regular straight tail trick worm is all I'd use. So on like a shaky head. Uh, bye, David. See you later, man. Any plans on Dale Hollow smallies this year? Not this year. I got too much slammed during the peak time of the year for Dale Hollow, so which sucked because I really wanted to go there for a few days. So, um, Oren Bishop, what's going on, man? First Friday, I've been able to watch. Wanted to say I love your channel. Oh, and hook them. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> My wife's grandfather is from Delacro. Okay, you guys are back and forth, Josh. Um, anyone fish Norris in Tennessee? I know that Alex Rudd does. Uh, Joni, what's up, man? Uh, still mad at you for catching that 10 pounder. <laughs> yes, I see. I've seen the numbers are catching on chick right now. Um, what are the locals saying? It says they're crying about not being able to catch anything due to fishing pressure. <laughs> they're going to find any excuse that they can not to catch fish. I mean, the reason to, you know. For the reasons why they're not catching fish. That's funny. Um, let's see. Josh, I'm not even going to talk about redfish. I'm skipping your comment. Uh, Gene, are you going to fish the FLW? Probably not. Uh, spinnerbait is pretty decent all year. Are you talking about the kayak one? I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. 
Um, spinnerbait is pretty decent all year. Yeah, you're probably right, Grant. Um, I'm no good with them, but I know people who are, and, uh, and deep water too. So, yeah, Josh, I'm not even going to read your comments. <laughs> I'm going to put you in timeout for about five minutes. You keep talking about redfish. Um, all right, guys, let's see. Are you going to be in, uh, in Northern again this year? Um, Bradley, let me grab my schedule real quick. Actually, in May, my schedule's crazy, but early May, first week in May, I'm going to be at a Niagara uh, River media event that I go to every year. We fish the Niagara River and we fish uh, Lake Erie, and it's one of those things where I try to have a meet and greet uh, in, uh, it's north of, of Buffalo, New York. But I, I try to have a meet and greet there while I'm there, uh, if I can schedule it. And then after that, I'm going to run over to uh, Michigan and fish with uh, Ben Nowak and uh, Alex Rudd for a few days. So that's when I'm going to be up north. And then I've got a hot tail and head home um, for a Yak Attack tournament in Virginia. So welcome to my May. See, kind of dumb question, but for some reason, when I try my improved clinch knot, it doesn't seem to ever get very tight with 10-pound mono. Any tips? Wet it really good, and as you're tightening it, push it down with your fingernail as you're tightening it down. And then you don't have to tighten it up with your hands. The first fish that bites it is going to tighten it up the rest of the way. Um, let's see... Brian Robinson, Northeast. Uh, let's see. Did you watch the basketball championship? Uh, go Hoos. Um, yes, I did. I watched a little bit of it. My son watches, uh, watches the sports more than I do. I just don't get a chance to. I'm always busy. Man, I'm slouching again. My back starts hurting. Um... Let's see, let's see. I'm going to be fishing a bass tournament in California Delta, and it's going to be super windy. Wish me luck. Good luck, man. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Uh, take plenty of stuff for energy, because that stuff pretty much wears you out. Um, all right, Chad's having a conversation with somebody. So, Chad likes Top Gun Gray. I guess I'm kind of a Top Gun Gray guy. So... I don't like Hondo Orange. Of course, it's really nice when you're in one of those big in big waters. But anyway, all right, guys, I'm gonna jump off of here. Um, I'm gonna I've got freaking six SD cards to run through from all this footage I shot in the last two days. Um, but uh, you guys are awesome. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for uh, jumping on my channel and watching this video and watching my my other videos. And uh, look forward to a real good one on Sunday. I've got three or four to choose from. I've got from. I've got to pick which one I want to launch on Sunday, and then I'll have four or five more in the till. So I've been working real hard making videos, but uh, you guys are awesome. Thanks a lot. And uh, like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water. Go ahead and catch some fish and have a great day.